I said I'm ballin', I'm ball, I'm ball, I'm ball, I'm ballin', I'm ball, I'm ball, I'm ball my own thing, I'm ball, I'm ball, I'm ball my own thing, I'm ball, I'm bout it, bout it, bout it. I tell her to suck, she gon' suck me. I tell her bring it back, she gon' bump me. She get fuck wild, I'ma buck me. Hey yo, what's good, you guys? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's the channel Bali Star, your boy Booms, the music artist that does reactions, and this all star gang up in this thing. Today, we're getting into Pew's What a Million Dollars Get to Around the World. You feel me? So, we're like, let's find out what it gets us. Alright? But, real quick, if you're down to join the gang, hit that like and that subscribe just below the video. Without further ado, let's get into it, bruh. Let's get it. Let's go. Stop. Before this video begins, let me tell you about a great sponsor, NordVPN. You're browsing the internet unprotected. I can see what you're doing. You know that, right? I can see everything. It's okay. I'm not judging. Huh. <laughs> because with NordVPN, you're judging a me. No logs policy. For those of you who don't know, a NordVPN helps you browse internet securely, safely, and freely. If you're not using a VPN, your ISP, internet service provider, can see exactly what you're doing online. Sorry to say incognito mode. And they're mode judging me. Incognito mode, you know what I mean? If you're browsing on a public Wi-Fi, it's very easy for people to snoop up your passwords and personal information. NordVPN covers you from that. And what I really like NordVPN for is not just feeling so safe and secure, but also it bypasses any region block. You can c connect all across the world with simple click of a button. It only takes a few seconds and bam, I'm in Japan, baby. I can watch anime now. It only costs a few bucks a month. And if you use the link in the description, you get an even better discount. So make sure you use it. It's nordvpn.com slash PewDiePie. If you use the offer, you get a huge discount and an additional four month for free. So sign up. I highly Those recommend glitches, it. Bro. 30 day money back. What would I buy? God dang. I would buy Let's get into the video. Ken. Felix. If you had a million dollars, what would you buy? Do you want to earn more views? You told him behind the scenes to please stop You're yelling. Watching. What would I buy? God dang. I would buy some real estate. I forgot to bring the mic closer to me. So if I sounded like I was far away this whole time, I am sorry. Because I'm an adult. Nothing, because you live in Australia and you can't afford it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That doesn't give me anything. What does a million dollar buy around the world? Well, speaking of that, I can tell you exactly what it gets you in Australia. Uh, in Sydney, where I am right now. My unborn like daughter. Down by the, under the bridge with the homeless people. <laughs> No, nah, it's play. You're a millionaire. Congratulations. No money in the world I could take that. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> it's so fucking sad. It's the same with you, Cam. I want to show you what you can buy it, but I'm sure they're going to show us too. I'm really curious about this. Very own million dollar check. The only condition is that you can only use it to buy a house. You can choose to. Oh, okay, fair enough. I, yeah, I, that's what I want to know anyway. Yeah. Live anywhere in the world, Europe. Asia, Australia, the Americas, heck, even a private... The Americas? Are you plural now? Americas. Yeah, there's multiple. The United States, you know. Of Americas. Oh, right, there's many. Yes, of course. Sorry. Island in the Caribbean. You can finally settle down in the environment you've always dreamed South, of. North, South, and Central yeah. America. See, this is also another lie that it's I It's all one America. Right? I'm like, oh, cool. I can work from anywhere. I have, I have income. Where do I want to live? Yeah, that's right, Japan. Wait, never mind. You can! Oh, no. You can't. Hey, you can! It's a lie! You can't just go anywhere! Mm -hmm. It's been two and years! Got, you gotta have internet too, so oh, you have my to go more expensive period. Right. Yeah. Ugh. This video pisses me off. Rich people problem. Yeah, I'm pissed off. First world problems. Damn it, third world problems piss me off. As you'll quickly discover, a million dollars can go a mighty long way. Or, in some particularly affluent areas, it'll very Come on, come on, get into spot. it. Need some help deciding where to move? Let's take a look at what seven figures will buy us across every corner of the globe. That's another thing that pisses me off when people say seven figures. But just say a million. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had to math out, I was like, seven figures? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Nice. Bruh. Our journey around the world is the city that never sleeps, a place home to over 8 million people, the bustling metropolis that is New York City. 
Why would anyone ever live in that hellhole? I will never understand. First time I came to New York, there was garbage. Have the you streets. lived there? I never heard so much noise. Homeless people everywhere. It just seems like, wait, people want to live here? Oh, okay. No, you mean not the homeless people, all the millionaires that can't afford to live here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys. Because it's going to be so expensive. They're going to be like, it's $700,000 to get you in New York. And it's like a bedroom. Yeah. And like a, a uh, mat. Also for a, a bed. Ten and nose. It's insane. Also Ten nose. With homeless people, I mean like the dystopian uh, atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going oh. <laughs> I don't know. Everyone interprets everything I say in different ways. Expensive yeah, 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 I get it. But on its infamous Central Island, the skyscraper-tastic borough of Manhattan, the prices get even higher and the apartments get even smaller. The median price for a one bedroom apartment here is almost a million bucks. So that the medium is a million? Damn. <laughs> oh, nice. It's exactly what we can expect to buy. But you have quick access to like a Starbucks, so that's cool, right? You oh, just yeah, gotta, I mean, you just gotta wait for the elevator to go down 50 floors and then you're right there. It's amazing. You hop on the subway and go to work, you know, it's great. <laughs> You just got no need for a car. With all the other New York traffic is awesome. Mm -hmm. Choose from a one bedroom, 640 square foot apartment in the West Village that comes with a private terrace and gym in the building. Or go for this one. Another Let's take a cab everywhere you go. Hill in Midtown. It's a two story open. Wow, that looks wonderful. Exposed brick wall, you know, that's lovely, isn't it? Oh, my mm, God. Yeah, so, so rustic. So rustic. <laughs> AKA, it's also cheap because they don't have to pay anything over it. Look at this kitchen that can cram into a closet, basically. <laughs> Five cabinets, nice. Nice. Yeah, above it, you know, you can cool down your pizza. It's the all end clashing. Pizza. Beautifully. Oh, space for a microwave in this kitchen. <laughs> I right. love the microwave. Yeah. Oh, they added more space outside the kitchen so that, yeah. Oh, that's so smart. That's so smart. Mm. Oh, that's so smart. Mm. Story open floor plan on the top fl Open floor plan because we don't have space to add any room. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just one room. <laughs> and, it's, and it's a mezzanine too, right? Look at it. Offering impressive views of the skyline. <laughs> what is that face? Wow. <laughs> Someone's going to fall off that. Who's going to fall to their death? <laughs> like unintentionally too. They could just <laughs> lean over and just look over and be like, wow. It's going to push you and fall out of your Yeah, go break. Down. Great. It even includes a dishwasher and a wa- Wow! A dishwasher! Wow! If you're a millionaire, you can get a dishwasher too! Holy This is really what a million dollars will get you in New York? Look at that dishwasher kit or washing machine. They're serious? That's nice. Got the painter's tape and everything around here. Beautiful. You're really serious. That's how you know it's fresh. Which might not sound crazy, Bruh. but it's Ooh, look at that sweet leather couch. Let's. <laughs> it's not, oh. not included. You gotta get. You gotta. It's not furnished. This is Damn furnished. it! I, what? I have to pay furniture? Rare for apartments like this that were built in the 1920s. Still, oh, beware. There's the. Mmm, the 1920s. Let's still hear the ghosts rattling down the hallways of the dead people <laughs> from the Great Depression. Uh. <laughs> A hundred year old building. That sure there has no underlying issues in those. No, I don't sense none at all. Elevator, so you'll be getting a daily workout. It's actually not as small as most Wait, that's the peasant quarters. We have those in UK everywhere. We are like, wait, why is there another staircase here? And like, oh that's where all the and like <laughs> the no peasants? Yeah, and no one uses it. Everyone just uses it as for storage. Wow. All the peons. Yeah. Oh, I remember that because I went yeah. and visited. And I was like, yeah. why all this stuff like out here by these stairs? Yeah. Is this one going to fall down? These like, no, no, nobody ever used them. Oh, man. I was like, how did they get to their apartments? They use the other stairs. The, and these motherfuckers put passive aggressive notes on all on my Christmas tree saying it's blocking the stairway. Literally, just walk around it. And they said that we're going to charge me. They put a note saying that we're going to charge you to dispose of this. You fucking bitch. How dare you? I'm I'll see so Felix's hairline, hairline though. I'm Felix's hairline, he got lined up a bit. I'm you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Felix got lined up a bit, man. He went to a black barber shop this time. <laughs> this is, this is so Let bad, me put dude. my fucking Christmas tree. I see his hairline but now. I don't have space because modern day dystopia has no storage. Where am I supposed to put it? In the peasant staircase. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm not allowed because you can't maneuver your way around it? Don't be so sorry no about way. that. So you'll be getting the peasants are angry. <coughs> yeah, maybe they, the ghost put them up. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> the peasant goes, oh, I can't, am I supposed to serve my liege? We have, <laughs> no one uses, but I'm not Christmas tree is preventing me of that. Everyone else does it as well. Unbelievable. It's actually not as small as most people would expect. But as we hop but it's a fire hazard thing. Uh, who aren't you today? <laughs> so mad. Sorry, I need to get over it. My bad. Oh, that was good. Then we really start to feel the squeeze. The City of Lights is renowned for its food, its architecture, and its bubbling culture. So people have this romantic view of Paris based on movies and, and media, but then they come and visit it and they find that their idea of Paris isn't what they thought. Right. I actually have a relative uh, that I was talking to just a few nights ago. I mean, all they show of Paris is yeah, some parts of the streets, but mostly the Eiffel Tower. What is there more to expect from a city? You know? Especially if, you sh if you're showing on movies a lot. They only show one thing in Paris, mostly. Mostly all the time. And that's just the Eiffel Tower, bruh. And from there, from the Eiffel Tower, you see the lights in the background. What more do you want to see once you go to the city? Okay, you see the Eiffel Tower. Now what? You know what I'm saying? But they went to uh, Paris. It's like, oh, it's been so romantic. We did all the things. We like did the lock on the bridge and all this stuff. And it was just kind of, eh, and we'll never go back. <laughs> so it's all coming full circle now. I like it. Yeah, and it's, oh, it's based on the Japanese. Tari Shoko. Really? Shoko. 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 Uh, Shogun. Yeah, because so many Japanese people come and it's such a culture shock for them. Bakugan. There's, like, there's dog poop everywhere in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of sad. I don't know. It's, it is a pretty city. I'm not everyone completely sh Paris, but. I don't, I don't see the hype of it. It has some issues. Over 1300 bucks. With a million dollars on hand in the French capital, you'll be able to sign the deed to, well, a studio apartment. But you'll nice. Be Paris. You'll be spending your time walking down the Seine, visiting museums, and watching the world go by from a street-side cafe. This tiny 660... <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's stupid. Oh. What? Is that the kitchen and living what is it? this is your this is what? your whole room it's 600 square feet you pretty much get a room oh. <laughs> uh, what is, okay what is wrong with the piece of wood on the wall up there do you see it's painted white above the window it's supposed to be some kind of support but it looks like it's about to fall apart uh, uh, yeah that's a, the one they painted it. the beams it's damaged the beams yeah the wooden yeah, beams the, 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 the they look for <laughs> Somebody's been chewing on this, dude. Those are some old in. ass beams, dude. Yeah. Someone just <laughs> went up, went out. No way, on the oh, bottom too. Uh, underneath exposed. the window. I don't know. Maybe not those. Those look pretty rough. I'm just Maybe just that's why they painted them. Yeah. Yeah. No, but that that's common. You, if you go on in the market um, in the UK, and I'll show you later, they all have these exposed beams because it's a sense of luxury now for some reason, but it's really not. In, in my oh, crappy stuff is luxury. Yeah, so weird. Like, oh, yeah. let me get my rustic barn door, feature <laughs> yeah. wall, whatever that is. It's like a burnt piece of <laughs> crap. It's like, great, right, yeah. And I paid a hundred thousand dollars for it. What a tasteless mess this is! Like from the lamp to the couch to this. I don't know. What, it, yeah, exactly. Oh, you want to sit on the couch? Seven Here. It clashes. Drastically. It's so gorgeous on the outside, but then you, this is what you get. Hello. You're welcome. Cool. Thanks. I can't get some blimp wallpaper. Oh, nice. you were right. It is one room. <laughs> yeah, one, one one room. It's like I mean, it's, look at this angle too. Hey, penthouse. It's the penthouse design and, is there, you know. Uh, on the other side of the bed and hit your head. It doesn't look tacky. Yeah, you can. The same you time, can it's like this. the planned living space makes it feel a little big. <sighs> for a squiz over a million bucks, what you're really paying for here is the location. From a chic city full of history and charm to a rapidly evolving desert oasis, let's jet on over to Dubai. <sighs> Before video begins, Opera GX. Some of you already noticed I use it because they're like, I heard it. And that's the same. <sighs> it, I think on the underlying anger is just against boomers because they are the ones who did this. They are the ones that fucked this. 
with the house of Mark Gaines. Thank you. Thank we'll you very much. It makes me so mad. Uh, Dubai is actually reasonably priced. I, I think you can get... real estate agents have in store in a region synonymous with luxury. With a million dollar check, you could find yourself living in the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, mm. where a two bedroom, seen two this. bathroom, stylish yeah. apartment covering some 1,800 square feet is ready to be swept up. Check out those views. At a comparably cheap $353 per square foot, the dollars stretch a lot further in the UAE. If yeah, you... there you go. The problem is, Ken, it's all blood money, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you heard all the stories that they, they, they get immigrants to come and build and they take their passports and they force them to, all, to, to work under these insane conditions. And Look, I, may, I may live in Australia now, but I'm from America, so I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, us Americans I'm just saying, have no idea buy this, of these kind of words that so this man speaks right here. Do you, how, do you, how do you feel about like living in cities? I hate it. No, London Me is... Me too. London is... <laughs> The worst I like living in cities. I, want, I can't wait for London to show up because it's the worst. Yeah, it's like, I get if you like have a, a job like in the city and like in a yeah. It's if you don't have a choice. Yeah, then you go live in the city and you oh you want to pay that extra money for that view? Sure, go for it. But or yeah, if you're like us and you work on the internet, you go live wherever you well not wherever you want. You can't, you can't go to Japan. <laughs> Thank you. But, but now it's like <laughs> they realize. What? Hold up. Can Pews really not go uh, go to Japan? Is this, like, a real story here? Like, should I be reporting on this? Like, bro, what's going on? And with the pandemic, right, that, wait, you can actually work from home? That actually works? Oh, so we don't need these office spaces in the cramped up cities. And, oh, wait, so that's not actually not a necessity? Oh, cool. It's almost like we just set all this up that is horrible and <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> so for real estate prices to go up because everyone is in high demand. Right. We got, we got the new baby. I got, I got three kids now, right? I don't even want to, like, raise my kids in, like, a city because I'm like, well, what's the point? Like, why? No. Awful. Cities are just fun when you're, you're a kid, though. I used to yeah, live... It's good to go visit. Like, it's good to go, oh, let me go visit this place. You know, let me go visit New York and see it, but I don't live in it. Well, that's yeah, no. going to be the... Trust me, I lived in L.A., bro. Four years. Again, it's fun when you're a kid, you know what I'm saying? But it's also not fun when you're a kid. You know, actually, it's more fun than when you're a kid. But there are some parts that are not fun. And it's like, yeah, I will not live here. As I got a little bit older, I was like, yeah, I, I'm not living here anymore. I just can't. I just can't. Case in the future. Look at all the big cities. All tourism cities are just going to be like Airbnbs. <laughs> right? Yeah. No one's gonna actually yeah. live in the cities because it's too They're expensive. All properties. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's already ha get a happening. Million dollars for six hundred square feet. God dang! What did a, the person that bought that ten years ago was raking in the money? Anyway. Willing to live a little mm. further inland than that same bag of cash could buy you an enormous three thousand five hundred sixty-six square foot Ooh. family home, which boasts a pool and a beautiful front garden. Well, it seems pretty obvious what you would pick, right? <laughs> you want to live in a like, giant you know, tower? Nothing. Toronto, Oops, folks. Home of the most expensive property Toronto. in America. Toronto, hey. I didn't realize how expensive Canada was. Me either. It's incre insane. I'm about to learn. All right. Here you go. The Toronto is crazy expensive. Footage average of $804. This I got fam in Toronto, fam. Angeles and Rome in its terms of price. Right. But like outside Toronto, business, though, like, the downtown area, if y'all know, y'all know, if y'all Canadian, man, Mississauga. All that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Ontario stand up, Mississauga. Isn't it sad? <laughs> I've never actually been to the so city sad. of Toronto, though. They should have the water bottle out for you, you know? get <laughs> 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 <Yeah>, something. <laughs> it's broke, though. I just love the idea, like, you're a millionaire. Congratulations, what are you going to do? This is the place in Sydney I was telling you about. It's the same place. <laughs> Looks a little more more than a shack or tools was listed for a million bucks the blueprint shows good it's like besides all odds of the system you made it you, you're right you did it you're you did it you, it's insane you're the one percent of people 
two bedrooms and one bathroom, with the property notably located smack bang in the middle of Little Italy. Of course, if you were going to buy this place, the value comes from the land on Why does everywhere have a Little Italy? Dang. You don't say. Oh, 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 can we in your house now? Ken's house. We're going to be all up in Ken's house. That's what you're paying for, kid. <laughs> the coffee. The wall and some coffee. The co well, unfortunately, <laughs> famous for its wallet draining real estate. Oh, look at that lovely art, kid. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad? Have you seen that in public, kid? I can't wait to be there, man. Oh, man. Just shy of a million American, you could sweep up this spacious three bedroom, two bathroom house in the affluent mm, suburb. That looks not. That looks kind of cool, though. Front and backyard. Sits conveniently a one minute stroll from the tram stop. Huh, and that art is pretty dope. Drive to the sandy shores of St. Kilda Beach. Keep in mind, however, that in Melbourne and in fact most populated cities, costs can vary substantially. The median Melbourne house price of $881,000 could get you a tiny flat next to the ocean. At least this is like the a only tiny one that has flat, nice interior decorating. Might as well just put yeah, down on a house, right here, bro. If you're picking up on this, but he's no. talking about the insanity of the Australian real estate market. He's like, $800,000 can get you this small apartment. Or I can get you a whole goddamn house. Because nobody knows the value of anything in Australia. They're just like, I don't know. Oh, don't it's so fluctuating. You're like, yo, bro, you want a 1%, you know, interest loan? Sure. <laughs> Take it. Go buy whatever. It's nuts, dude. Damn. I've been looking at houses since I got here. This is insane. Huh. It's so crazy. Or a five-bedroom mansion on rural outskirts. Yeah, there you go. As we spin the globe yeah. once more, 9,600 miles. I just want to know why from America to Australia, though. You know, why Australia? I just want to know why the from him. The Victorian capital is our next destination. Destin Point, near Pensacola, Florida. Oh, okay. So we're done with Australia. Florida! i to get this mansion for a million dollars right here. So Florida is cheap, eh? I think, uh, My second home. In America, outside of like major cities, is cheap. Hmm. Well, Earth is the Florida of the universe. <laughs> how can it? How can it? How? Like how can it be that different? Well, I understand like the land, but even then, like the price of construction seems to also fluctuate so much. Everything in this world that has a price on it, the value isn't what it's the valuation. The value mm. is what people will pay for it, and people keep paying these prices, so that's the price. Wow. Uh. And well, there you go. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Average yeah. it out. In the middle of nowhere, you know, someone's like, hey, I'm selling my house for a million dollars. And they're like, no, I'll go next door. Right. <laughs> buy, buy a different one, you know. It's, yeah. But in the cities, I guess you've got more people that want to move to L.A. and live the L.A. dream and go live in Culver City or whatever and be miserable. <sighs> price per square foot around here is $250. Has he lived in Culver City? five times cheaper than New York. Damn. In cash in hand, you'll be able to snap up a truly stunning beachfront retreat. Picture this, 1,850 square feet of... See, this is what I expect for a million dollars, Ken. Right? Mm -hmm. This is what I've been told. Living space, three bedrooms, and three bathrooms, all renovated and unbeatable views of... Yeah. <laughs> Even get great views. It's not like you live in the f desert. <laughs> Right? Uh, you'll get get your Mexico. boat and go right around. Yeah. yeah. The top. As part of a gated community, you'll also have access to two swimming pools, a hot tub. Two, two swimming, swimming pools. pools? What's the drawback? It's a little further out from major cities. Is that a drawback? <laughs> Is that really a drawback, bro? <laughs> Try it, what is it? Well, like, how far is it? Five miles away from Miami? Ooh, like, 15 miles away? Like, oh yeah, like, I can see that being a major drawback. I can see it now. Yeah, well, they figured it out, didn't they? God damn. Yeah. Folks, hold on to your wallets because our next city is about as expensive as they come. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the most exorbitant would that area, be? not only in Europe, but world. In Monaco? Nestled on the French Riviera, sporting a. Ah, close, Monte Carlo. This, of course, is Monte Carlo. Monaco, Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo, where the rich kids go to flex. Yeah. Is that just... Yeah. Where is that? Principality of Monaco. Oh, where is that? Is Monte Carlo. On a broad... Is that in Monaco? Monte Carlo, where the rich kids go to flex. Yeah. Is that just... I'm Monaco. Huh. Where's Monaco? <laughs> it's, yeah, uh, Principality of Monaco. Oh, okay. Because they don't have any taxes, right? Scale, really? is the yeah, I think most so. Expensive so he did get it right. <laughs> none of its regions comes with prices as sky high as the infamous Monte Carlo. At $4,924 per... Jesus! Beautiful. What can we expect for a million bucks? Not much. 
Yeah, I remember I, I looked into this. For no reason, of course. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Doesn't do taxes. Yeah, yeah, I no. <laughs> None of that can be said. square foot studio with barely half a kitchen. But then again, Switzerland, you know, I don't have taxes either. And it's not like that's crazy expensive. But I guess it's such a small area. Something about living near water just drives people crazy. Huh. I can see which the is, ocean in my which is a lie. Moon by the salt water. I, as someone who's lived by the ocean for ten years now, or in eight years, don't do it. Don't do it. Is it ain't worth it? It's dumb. You get all yeah. the sh- weather too. I can take a fifteen minute walk down the road and go to like to the beach, you know, and that's and feel cool that I can do that. But I've done that a handful of times. Right. The months that I've been here, so it ain't happening, and it ain't gonna get more. Let me tell you that. Well, it's just all your time on your when you can anyways, faintly right? listen to the waves. We like five minutes like away, man, or feel the like wind. Arizona. It's like, it's just that feeling, you know? It's not really Arizona. going to the beach all the time, you know? Ooh, it's feeling Vancouver. the beach nearby. Yeah, let's go to Arizona and be kings, king. Speaking of taxes, all my tax people are like, don't tell Feeling the beach five they nearby. Will, they will Edie. Uh, they, 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 they are pretty, pretty greedy. It is quickly gaining steam as a retiree's dream destination. Arizona. Because with a million bucks, you can live in a truly astonishing mountain estate. Or ASU. Situated is. So you are literally in the desert on this one. Okay, mm-hmm. interesting. This Dude, I like this what they're saying here. What? There's a lesson to be learned. You know, speaking of Florida to here, the retirees. You just got to figure out where all the old people are moving. And that's probably the best spot to live because they, they're just going to enjoy the rest of their life, right? Yeah, and the market is always moving because, uh, you know. Booters, yeah. They're... <laughs> 60 square foot mansion boasts sweeping views of the rugged desert landscape with barely a neighbor in sight. It features floor to ceiling windows, a decked out games room, and an expansive patio. Better yet, it also comes with a 237 square foot guest house. Yeah, I heard Arizona I'm cheap not to live in. Arizona. I ain't moving to Arizona. I don't care how cheap it is. Sorry, Arizonians. <laughs> Hey, we got no internet out here. Hey. <laughs> the same size as the one we just saw in Monte Carlo. The median list price per square foot in Tucson is one hundred twenty-five dollars. One of the most affordable we've seen. So far. Yeah, but you're in the desert, though. What do you do? Right. What do you do there? What do you do here? Sun and roast, I guess. All right, it looks. What happened? You're, it was, you go on walks. You go on walks. Yeah. Uh, twist your ankle and perish because yeah. there's, there's a hospital, you know, three hundred miles away from you, maybe. Get bitten by a snake. In the crowded city of Hong Kong, real estate prices continue to soar. For just under our budget, we can grab this cozy 708 square foot Hong Kong is in the nuts. Discovery Bay area. The floor plan features three small Bong Rong. Three is better than one, right? Plus two bedrooms. Or as most would say, Hong Kong. On average, square footage in Hong Kong is $3,024. Yikes. That puts this Asian administrative region on the map as one of the priciest places to live. <clears throat> But with such booming cultural, business, and entertainment scenes, you won't be spending much time at home anyway. Let's look for something a little roomier, shall we? Straddling the border between Asia and Europe is none other than, any guesses? Yep, Istanbul. What? No, I would not have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have guessed that? Yeah, I kind of want Japan to show up, but I don't think it will. Cultural melting pot. This enormous city actually isn't too expensive property-wise. Picture yourself living here in this captivating five-bedroom villa, which overlooks the sea. It sits in the highland. Yeah, that looks pretty. Yeah, maybe the water, man. Yeah, maybe it's it is some cool. Hi, is that cheap? Sought-after area of yeah. the Lita zoo includes a private pool and direct okay. access to a beach, and rests over eight thousand six hundred square feet of land. While the pretty interior big. is spacious and full of amenities, the selling point is clearly that amazing backyard. This house <laughs> has a backyard. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> what the heck? You bought this big house just so you could Even the grass got backyard. brown patches in it. Nice. Clearly that amazing backyard. This house technically costs like, that looks awesome. 5 million. But if we put yeah. our negotiation skills to the test, hopefully we can squeeze it into our budget. Overall, Istanbul is as cheap as chips. I feel like if I go to Istanbul, I'll be kidnapped or something. Then, dude, I hate it whenever like a real estate agent's like, "Oh, look at this, look at this spacious backyard." And I'm like, "Please, I'm not buying this house for the backyard." I mean, that's a plus. Come on. You don't like a backyard? You're not a backyard I mean, man. I mean, that's just a general thing to say, though. Look at this spacious backyard. You know, it's like just because you don't care about the backyard doesn't mean the next husband or like you know the next guy in a relationship. You know, looking at houses might not want to hear about the backyard. You know, like he might want to see the backyard, and no, 
you know, want to hear about it, you know, hear nice things about the backyard, you know, because you know, they might go out there to go barbecue or, you know, have his kids play in the pool or, you know, have room for his kids to play, to build a treehouse, whatever, you know. So always remember what what's one man's trash is another man's treasure. What you might not want to hear doesn't mean the next man would not either. You feel me? Like it, but they like they try to like sell you on like the features of the backyard. Like, oh look, at this. it's got a it's got a garden here, it's got a, a swing, and I'm like, this stuff costs like nothing in comparison to the house. I hate realtors. Yeah. They're they're worse than car salesmen. I hope they all nothing. But you know what I mean. Oh, they all stop taking six percent of my of my house sales <laughs> minimum. I, I uh. they always try to sell you on stuff that doesn't exist. Like, oh look at this backyard. Can you imagine what you can do in here? You could, you, could, you could put a jacuzzi there. You could put a pool here. I'm like, yeah, motherfucker, I know that. I don't need you to tell me that, you idiot. I hate it when they give you the, the rushed feeling of like, oh, you better put an offer in or it's going to be gone. I know. If I want it, I will. Leave me alone. <laughs> that, I that I don't like. That I don't like. That much. rush. Yeah. But her, if it happened for another one, does like another one only put a down payment on it. I was like, then why are you showing me this? Sit down and have a meeting. I'll find you. I'll start recommending your houses. Yeah, exactly. But I'm the I mean, obviously, just decide. in case the other I person doesn't go through with okay, it, but you know, you. don't rush me. I find you a house and it's one that I also represent the seller, then, uh, then I can Yeah, yeah, they're leeches. Whatever, whatever it's called. Bro, yeah. I don't need you. God damn it. $115 per square foot. As we jet set over to Indonesia, they don't call Bali the island of paradise for no reason. On this Bali has to be cheap. The island of mosquitoes? Yeah. Fuck you mean. Luxury, easy to come by. Estates typically sell for around two hundred sixty-nine dollars per square foot. Take this me, I can only imagine how big mosquitoes must be there, man. If y'all got elephants there, y'all for sure got mosquito eating, not elephant eating mosquitoes. Damn. All right, maybe Bali. I mean, I've been there. It was gorgeous. You can surf. It's got amazing. Do you not surf? No, I don't. But I. This is the dream. I want to surf. Okay. That's my million-dollar dream. You got to do it. Surf. We can learn how to surf together because Hell yeah. you know, I want to surf when there's when <laughs> yeah. there's non shark infested waters. Hey. Beach. Unlike most new home purchases around the world, this one even comes fully furnished, Ooh. allowing you to save a few bucks on furniture and spend a little more at one of the hundreds of delicious restaurants in the area, Indonesia and Southeast Asia in general. <laughs> Damn, Bali Bali's lit. I will say that. Yeah, it's pretty. Mm. It's probably places like that are probably, probably won't go to water there. there. This is the only thing close to Australia I can go to. That New Zealand. Yeah, I recommend it. All right, Ken. All right, welcome to England. You become a millionaire. Here's here's what you get. Incredible. <laughs> oh wow! Look at that. Wow. Oh, so spacious. Oh, wow. wow! Look at that lovely floor and the wall and the ceiling. All the patterns, the contour, it all just goes so well together. This is incredible. A million dollars. You're living like a king. <laughs> Right there, yeah. Who's the realtor? Yeah, there used to be a fireplace, but they cost too much to fix it, so now it's a rock. So what? All right. You love this? This is as nice That's as a library. It's oh, look right? at the books. The photos you used to you love like. the books. Back there in the background, are those cords by the door back there? On the ground? Like yeah, yeah, that's cords they're hiding behind the elevator. Uh, elevator. Radiator. Uh, oh, wow. oh, look at that the kitchen. Room. Oh, it comes with a dishwasher can. A million. Look what you're getting. Oh, look at this. You get a bath. Oh, my goodness. You get a bath. Oh, wow. in the backyard. I mean, you could put a pool here, Ken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just shitting on someone's property here. I just realized. But the point, the point is like, this is what you get for a million. Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, or Ridiculous. you can move to the outskirts of the city and have to do like a, if you work, maybe like a little bit of a. No, 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 no. This is the problem with the UK. You go outside. Here, I'll be unbiased. I'll pick somewhere outside and see. This is what you get outside. Wow, it's so lovely inside. Look at this carpet here and the wow. This is incredible. Look at that kitchen. It's so nice. You get the cat. The you get the cat, cat with it right too. Right there. Why they got the trash can just right there? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, but they do that. They don't build them in all the way, so you have to have an exposed trash can. What are you going to do? Wow. It's just oh, there, wow. just hanging out oh, like it's a human or something. It's all you get a backyard, I guess. It's and the sky. Look at the sky. Oh, 
<laughs> nice view of the sky. There's just stuff everywhere, it's, man. Wait, it, wait. It's a carpeted bathroom. Oh, no. It's a carpeted oh, bathroom. No. Why would you do that? Um, <laughs> you get the carpet <laughs> next to the hot tub. <laughs> what more would you want? I, I can do it in a 24 hour video on this shit. It pisses me off, man. But there you go. Check out Ken and then uh, subscribe to me for more rich people problems that I will complain about. And subscribe to me because you want to subscribe to me. Aren't you guys? So that was Pewed. What a million dollars gets you around the world. Do you feel me? So, yeah, man, I'm impressed with all these places, man. If I could, I'll live at all of them at the same time. I'll make clones of myself and live at all of them. You feel me? Well, each clone will have to have a million dollars as well. But y'all already know what it is, man. It's the game. Y'all join it down that. Hit that like, that subscribe, just below the video. And it's the channel of Bolly Star, the boy, the man, the myth, the legend, booms. The music artist that does reactions. If you want to know more about the music part, first link in the description below, homie. And on that note, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Wahana! I said I'm balling. I'm about it, about it, about it. I tell her to suck, she gon' suck me. I tell her bring it back, she gon' bump me. She get fucked wide, I'm a buckwheat. No string.